so good afternoon dear students yesterday we have started reading chapter comet 2 so in that what we have come to know now it was a hard time to take a decision because now their life was in problem their life was in trouble okay they had to take a very major decision because whole of the world was going to face this problem so whole of the world's life was completely dependent on that decision okay so now they were having a conference it was a secret conference in which all the things were discussed in detail and now they have to make decision wisely that how to face that comet because comet was about to hit the earth but now what should be uh, how should it be handled how should they should how should they change the way of comet okay or if it hits then what to do how to face that drastic situation so such kind of discussion was going on so when sir john was discussing all the things and what were the calculation which were made by sir john all the calculations were again rechecked okay and uh th there were not only you can say one or two person about to check all the calculations there was a team of expert and in that expert team so many persons were called so many eminent renowned so many intelligent and educated persons were called you can see that there were team of there was a team of astronomer also scientist also biologist also so many people were there now they all were sitting in that panel and they have to take a major decision so when they made one of a time table and according to that time table they have thought that now they have to take these steps in order to face that collision okay so these uh this time table was made and now uh what was going on after uh, this time table they were going to implement it okay but never now they were their decision was still dicey that will they able to succeed or not okay so there were you can say that was very a critical problem critical situation in their life but now what to do they have to tackle that situation smartly it was a time when they have to join hands and they have to find out maximum you can say outcomes how to tackle that problem smartly so that the life of whole world can be saved otherwise such kind of comet if it hit the earth it can bring lots of destruction so this part we have done yesterday and we were not able to do comprehension check part now get ready for that let's discuss question number 1 for a moment james wondered if he had done his sums right see the calculations were done by james but he was still thinking that whatever the calculation he has done was it right or not okay and why he was so doubtful about his sums and calculation why it was happening with him see james was so intelligent he was so efficient in his work but why still he was having doubt that he was able to do all the calculations correctly or not so for that you tell me this answer see out of 19 only 3 have raised their hands so surprising okay harman pal you may tell me good afternoon ma'am Yes, Ma'am, James was doubtful that his calculations could be wrong. When he reached his hotel at one p.m., he was quiet while looking at the star-studded sky. He couldn't believe that any event could have happened on such a peaceful night. Okay. Yes, this was the reason because in between, what was noticed? Okay, because what was the time when he reached his hotel? It was near about one p.m. okay so it was 1 pm when he reached his hotel and what was done there because from window he saw that there was an you can say star complete sky was sky was filled with uh, stars okay and he was thinking that any 
untoward event could take place and moreover the night was it was so peaceful so he was thinking that any uh, thing can take place so that's why this was a reason that he was still becoming doubtful and he was thinking that his calculations were right or wrong now let's proceed to question number second what did the scientist at the conference say about james sums what did they say his corrections were wrong or right oh, sorry his calculations were right or wrong what was that his calculations were right or wrong tell me gautam can you tell me this answer gautam veer excuse me ma'am it might take some time for me to frame the answers ma'am can i answer it ma'am usse baat mein ma'am answer kar do ma'am main bhi bana raha hu take whole period we are here having this is a very simple answer okay no problem afterwards anyone any another child ye na next time na gautam veer aur saksham whenever you come in my class you change those dps horrible dps i don't want to see it it really distracts me from my content so next time saksham and gautam veer your these dps should be changed abhishek lavish also change such kind of dps lavish dp is good but abhishek saksham and gautam veer you change your dps like this it distracts me moreover it doesn't look nice that you are a student and the class is going on and you are having that unique dps okay pari you tell me Yes, ma'am. The scientists at the conference discussed the matter for a week. They came to the conclusion that James was correct in his calculations. Uh, the Dutta comet would collide with the Earth. Yes, his calculation, whatever the calculation he has made, it was absolutely right. Okay, because according to his new calculation, it was very much sure that one comet was going to hit the Earth. Okay. Now, see next question. immediate action was needed the scientists decided give one example each of defensive and offensive action mentioned in the text defensive action is there and offensive action is there so what what action they have to take see they have decided that they should take any action to face that situation but they have used defensive word also and offensive word also so i will consider that child the most intelligent one who will be telling me this answer only pari has raised hand for this answer see there is a example of bunkers bunker was there they could stay in bunkers that was that was a suggestion given by one person that they could stay in bunker they could hide themselves so it was like what which kind of which kind of uh, thing defensive or offensive which kind of action okay akul you tell me this answer ma'am yes in the conference there were a lot of experts and scientists some stated about defensive measures like living underground in nuclear bunkers whereas some stated about offensive measures like the comet to collide in future could be marginally deflected from its path the experts decided to work on the offensive measure rather than living in bunkers first of all you tell what is offensive and what is defensive defensive means to protect ourselves Yes. Okay. So, yes. what offensive, what defensive measure was to be taken in order to protect themselves? Ma'am, defensive measure was uh, living in underground nuclear bunkers. Yes. Defensive measure was to live in bunker to hide themselves and to protect themselves. This was a precaution they had to take. And what was offensive? Ma'am, like they could. Uh... 
uh, explore the uh, comment uh, yes. comment offensive parts yes. yes to explore something to face that situation to do something with that comment to you can say uh, action when action is coming then after that what reaction to be taken so offensive measure was to do something with that comment how to tackle it how to deal it okay so defensive was only to protect themselves to hide themselves in bunkers and on the other hand offensive means that to, to do something to tackle that comment okay that 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 comment should not come on earth on the path its movement should be changed so this was considered offensive okay i am not buying any christmas present till december 15 what did sir john mean by that so when he spoke this line at last that i am not going to purchase any christmas present till 15 december afterwards i will think and i will purchase so what is the meaning of that line what is the meaning of that line seven participants have raised their hands let me appreciate them these are harman diya pari toranya janvi and akul and samiksha these seven will be given special credit but what about others mute personalities in my class those who are least bothered to give any answer those who are present or not present it really hardly matters they are wasting their resources by not participating in class he was sure that this comment would be tackled smartly tell me in chat box yes or no he was sure he was sure that it would be tackled smartly they would win no he was not sure chalo ye sabhi ne likh diya very good you all have typed in chat box yet yeah, yes they all were not sure okay so suppose any celebration is there suppose any celebration is in your city and you are not sure that this celebration will take place or not will you purchase something for that celebration yes or no no you will not do any uh, shopping any you will not purchase anything so same like that with that person because he was not sure that this what will be the result this comet would be able to tackle smartly or this comet would hit the earth or their life would be in danger they would be able to survive or not so that's why he has made up his mind that he would be able to he would be purchasing all the things christmas presents etc after 15 when uh, all the problems will be solved because now he was not sure that they would face that situation smartly or not ye simple si baat hai clear yes gautam i have read your answer okay now i'm going to share chat box now there is second part now the tatta was not feeling happy at all because now he reached his home and uh, so much warm welcome was given to him okay and uh, there was one of a secret communication that was sent it was that rush to the local sweet shop so basically what was that it was a uh, you can say secret language okay so indrani devi says that khokha their 8 year old grandson has saved the world her husband is seriously puzzled so what is now this chapter is full of surprise full of suspense now see this was a time when they were all sitting like cross uh, fingers because they have to face that situation and they want to successfully face that situation that this comet should not hit the earth moreover whatever the decision they have taken they have drawn one time table what to do now what to do now if how to change the path of a comet if it hits what to do okay nuclear whatever the power they were having they also make that agenda 
all the things were discussed in detail and after doing that discussion with the president he also came now what was going to happen this was really very much uh, you can say full of surprise what happens now what do you think that comet has hit or their life was saved tell me their life was saved they were a smart enough to face it what are your guesses you make guesses and type in chat box okay diya has written life was saved okay how how it was saved so this is a smart reading that we are going to do now that you all should be very much inquisitive to know now diya start reading arriving home he found another crowd okay ma'am arriving home he found another crowd gathered under a pandal he glanced questioningly at indrani devi surely she knew how he hated crowds indrani obviously uneasy offered the explan explanation i have arranged a yajna and called priest to bless you but why just because i felt i left the shores of india you know it is no longer taboo and in any case you know my views on these meaningless rituals indrani okay. devi looked at wait baji babu wait wait now by reading what we have come to know now finally the tatta came home okay and he found that there was another crowd and there was crowd under pandal pandal you can say like uh, tent is there and uh, for large gathering of large people so he was looking at that indrani devi and uh, he was very much sure that he really hated crowd okay so indrani his wife offered the explanation that this crowd is because of me why so because she has arranged one of yajna and yajna is you can say a uh, puja like jaise havan vagera karwate hain like that so she has arranged one yajna one yagya you can say in hindi we say yagya like uh, people priest gather there and they do worship okay and why this yajna has been arranged to bless you so husband was so surprised why you have arranged that yajna because i have left the shores of india because i have left india i have gone gone out of india that's why you have arranged okay so he said no the, it is no longer taboo taboo is it means not permitted for religious it means if somebody goes outside of his country it doesn't mean that one should arrange yajna etc because uh he says that you know that your my views about all these meaningless rituals that all those rituals all that puja part whatever you do all these things are meaningful to me okay uh chalo aage padho read further okay diya padho aage beta Yes, ma'am. Indrani Devi looked at Sibaji Babu, the younger brother of her husband. Sibaji Babu coughed and explained, "We have all been very disturbed since you discovered the comet." Comet. Guruji recommended a shanti yajna to pacify the evil spirit behind the comet. We are all waiting for you to perform the yajna. May I know what specific advantage there is in this ceremony? The Tatta was out, widely calm. The comet you have discovered will not cause any ill effects on the Earth. Okay. At this after, remark, the, after that, Indrani Devi, she was looking at uh, her brother-in-law, Sibaji Babu. Okay, and Sibaji Babu coughed, and after that, he explained. that we have seen that after seeing that comet after discovering that comet your life has become so much full of disturbance okay so that's why guru ji has recommended that we should have a shanti yajna this yagya should be done in our uh, house so that we can pacify pacify mean we can keep them 
uh, silent all those evil spirits which were behind that format so that's why we all were waiting for you that so that you can come and you can perform this worship okay so the tatta was uh, outwardly he was calm but he asked i just want to know the reason what will be the main advantage of this ceremony okay so he said that uh, the comet you have discovered it will not bring any ill effect on this earth because otherwise the comet that you have discovered it is going to bring ill effect but if you will do this yajna if you will do this worship with priest it will not create any ill effect okay so add this datta blew up when the datta came to know all this now he became angry and he was completely against superstition okay now akul you read and yes at this remark the tada blew up don't you know that this is all superstition it could be condoned in the olden times when man didn't know what comets were not so in modern times comets are known for what they are their movements are forecast precisely by mathematical calculations and it is clearly established by statistical studies that their visits have no correlations with disasters on the earth all this is of course futile on my part to explain you and the likes of you never read even the elementary books of, on science shivaji babu gently interjected but a wise forefathers recommended such yajnas since his return from london the tada was in regular correspondence with sir john macpherson their friendship had grown out of their appreciation of each other's virtues sir john admired the tada scientific outlook while the while the latter admired the former's discipline and efficiency their correspondence never mentioned the project light brigade also once in a while sir, sir john would hint at its progress in a subtle manner that the tada would understand okay now bachche write down these difficult words meanings only then will be able to understand the text okay so what was going on so after that he asked may i know what is the basic advantage of uh, arranging all these religious ceremony so at when he was asking this question the tatta was very much calm okay but after that what response he got he got that the comet you have discovered it will not create any kind of ill effect on us that's why we have arranged this uh, puja this yagya okay when the tatta came to know this thing okay and he really blew up blew up means he really became angry and he said that don't you know that blew up means he started uh, shouting in anger and he say do you know that this is all superstition ki tumhe nahi pata ki ye sab kuch kya hai this is only superstition this is only andhvishwas okay it could be condoned in olden times when men did not know what comets were तो आफ्टर दैट दत्ता सेड कि ये सब कुछ तब टॉलरेट होता था तब हम फॉरगिव कर सकते थे ओल्डर टाइम्स में दीज यज्ञ कुड बी अरेंज ओनली इन प्रीवियस टाइम ओल्ड इन ओनली इन ओल्डन टाइम्स बट नाउ वी आर नॉट एबल टू डू दिस बिकॉज अर्लियर पीपल वर नॉट नोन टू दिस थिंग वट आर बेसिकली कॉमेंट बट नाउ पीपल आर more aware they are literate they are well educated so in modern type these yaj yajna etc should not be done but uh, after that comets are known for what they are okay what are comets they are known that actually basically what is the meaning of comet but what is their movement okay and uh, about their forecast that uh, prediction etc by mathematical calculations all the things are done okay statistical studies are also done so they have no correlation with disaster on the earth it means all the studies which are made till now so all these studies say all these calculations mathematical calculation all the things prediction all the things are saying this thing that whatever the disaster which are occurring on earth they don't have any relation with this comet okay so he says that it is really futile it is really futile means it is really useless on my part to describe to de- explain that you haven't read even the elementary books of science 
तो गुस्से में आके बोलता है कि तुमने जो बेसिक साइंस की बुक्स हैं वो भी तुम लोगों ने नहीं पढ़ी की जिसमें ये बताया गया है कि वट एवर द थिंग्स विच आर अक्रिंग ऑन अर्थ इट इज हैविंग नो कनेक्शन विद दो कॉमेट तो इतना ज्यादा गुस्से में आके बोलते हैं कि तुम लोगों ने साइंस की एलिमेंट्री छोटे बच्चों वाली बुक्स भी नहीं पढ़ी है सो सीबा जी बाबू जेंटली इंटरजेक्टेड लेकिन उसके बाद उसका जो ब्रदर है वो इंटरजेक्टेड इंटरजेक्टेड मींस स्पोक इन बिटवीन इंटरजेक्टेड अब उसका जो यंगर ब्रदर है ही स्पोक ही इंटरजेक्टेड इन बिटवीन बट आर वाइज फोर फादर्स रिकमेंडेड सच रचना तो वो प्यार से बड़े आराम से उसके सामने बोलता है कि जो हमारे फोर फादर्स थे who were our ancestors they were also recommending such kind of yajna such kind of pujas etc okay so afterwards since he is returned from london the datta was in regular correspondence with sir john macpherson now he has returned from london but the datta was in touch with sir john macpherson because sir john macpherson uh, has become his very good friend because of their knowledge because of their you can say work they were doing okay and they were really appreciating each other they were really you can say appraising uh, each other because of their virtues virtues means because of their qualities okay sir john uh, was john macpherson he was appreciating the tattas for his scientific outlook okay while uh, the tatta really liked sir john because of his discipline because of his efficiency so uh, what was going on there was a regular correspondence it means they used to send letters to each other and they were working moreover they were working on one of the project what was the name of the project the name of the project was project light brigade okay okay so they were working on that project okay so their correspondence never mentioned the project light brigade although once in a while sir john would hint at its progress in a subtle manner that the tatta would understand it means whatever the correspondence they were having whatever the letters mails postcards whatever uh, the mean of communication they were having they have never mentioned that uh, project name okay but they have you can say uh, spoke in a very subtle manner that the tatta would understand it means they were using having they were having codes for each other so whatever the correspondence they were having whatever the communication they were having they used to uh, talk to each other in a very code language so that if any another person would read that letter they would not understand on which topic they are conversing but they were they used to discuss about their project which was project light brigade okay now bachche read further अकुल अकुल आगे पढ़ो यहां से मीन वाइल से मीन वाइल कॉमेट दत्ता वॉज and yes meanwhile comet datta was following its predicted path in due course it developed its tail it circles around the sun without breaking apart nor did it evaporate the scientists on project light brigade therefore knew that the threat of collision was now very much real in the middle of october the datta got a letter from sir john in the midst of descriptions of the meeting of the royal astronomical society the unseasonably warm weather the opening matches of the football season and a recent by election the dadda spotted the sentence he was eagerly looking for the charge of the light brigade has begun let us hope for the best so the spacecraft had been launched on time now will it, but will it achieve the rent now see what happens now comet datta it was following its predicted path it means whatever the path it was they have done the prediction it was coming on that path and there was its tail also it was making a circle round the sun it was not breaking and it was not evaporating because they were the guess there were some of the guesses which were made by scientists that on the way it can break on the way it can evaporate also it will not reach on the earth but 
it did not happen at all it it did not break apart it did not evaporate so now the scientists who were working with project light brigade now they were having that threat now definitely this comet who has not uh, you can say evaporated this comet who has not broken apart now it is going to collide it is going to hit the earth okay so it was a time of october middle time has come and now the tatta has got a letter from john macpherson okay and uh, what was written in that letter in that description of the meeting that royal astronomical society uh, the unseasonable warm weather okay the opening matches of the football season at recent uh, by election the tatta quoted the sentence he was eagerly waiting for now such kind of language was written code language okay now what was written the charge of the light brigade has begun let us hope for the best so the space craft had been launched on time now this straight away line was written in that code language what was that that the charge of the light brigade has begun and now we should hope for the best okay so but will it achieve the okay now read akul read further also yes but will it achieve the rendezvous in time and at the right place will the remote control detonation work what if the gigantic nuclear pile falls to fire the tatta could not share his anxieties with anyone around him he had to participate in and outwardly enjoy the puja ceremonies the diwali celebration and other festivals His sole daytime relaxation was in the company of Koka, his eight-year-old grandson, and of course, at night, looking through the bear. He was regular, regularly now, wait, monitoring. Wait, wait, wait. Now, this was now a time that now they were waiting. Now this comet was about to hit Earth. Okay, and now there was having a uh, meeting. Okay, and uh, now they were thinking that this remote control who had. that remote control it will work okay and this very much nuclear, uh, big nuclear pile they will fail to fire or not so all these you can say things were going in their mind these speculations were going in their mind but he could not share whatever his anxieties whatever his worries with anyone but he had to participate in that puja ceremonies he had to participate in diwali celebration other festivals also in day time he was relaxed because he was spending his time with koka his eight year grandson and at night he was spending his time through divya that through telescope he used to look at that comet okay now afterwards what happened this is really a surprise that this surprise reading we will be doing tomorrow and tomorrow this chapter will come to an end and it is a really a suspense for you that what happens finally at last and tomorrow our literature syllabus will also come to over okay students now i'm going to over your class because the time is over now